We're here in Oakville at the show home for the Princess Margaret Cancer Center Home Lottery. We're here on the main floor and you enter the foyer through a door which is to the left of the courtyard so the door doesn't face the street and it's a very bright space. We're surrounded by French doors and a vaulted ceiling. Now what we've done is panel that area and we've mixed stone and wood on the floor and the wood is the consistent part that runs through the main floor. Powder rooms should be dramatic, and because they're an area that's used for a very short time, it's nice to be very impactful and have a little more drama in the space. So we designed a Parsons table with a stone top. We used a dramatic wallpaper. So it's a light-filled space, dramatic, and has a modern point of view. This house has a lot of seating areas on the main floor and it's hard to decide. You know, I love sitting in the living room and I've sat probably on every piece of furniture here. There's so many areas because there's so many great views and as the day changes and the light changes, I tend to move around the house. Now when you come from the foyer, the first thing you notice is this large living room. And we've broken it up into three groups. We have these chaise sort of love seats at one end, the sofa with the chairs at the other, and a library table in the center. And the reason I chose this table in the center because we didn't do a library in the house. So this is a really universal piece of furniture. You can use it for a party, as a bar, or a buffet table. You can use it to work on because the space is so bright, or just as a focal point to put beautiful artifacts facts and books on. The mirror really is the focal point of this room and I wanted a picture of Versailles and why not do a full wall of it. So we had the photographer Tony Kukos go to Versailles and photograph this space. It was a little challenging because he had to photograph without any people in it so we had to wait a long time. And then he mounted it on a wallpaper and we installed it on this wall and I think it adds a real wow factor to this room. Between the living room and the dining room is a hallway and what we did was we put a two-sided fireplace so you can see it from the living room and from the dining room. The dining room has paneling but in a very modern way. It's a dark Macassar paneling and it has green wallpaper. It has the look of silk but it's a vinyl so if people touch it or rub against it it's going to wear well. And then we did mirrored panels at either end to expand the space. We did built-in so the room could be used as a library but we used it as a dining room and we mounted art on the top top shelf and then displayed books and teapots throughout. The paneling is modern so we use a modern dining room table in mahogany and brass and then gray chairs which are neutral which go throughout the space. Now because we have gray in the living room and gray in the dining room we thought we'd do a gray blue for the kitchen cabinets and we were seeing a lot of white cabinetry and a lot of white kitchens. We took a break from the white kitchen and did this deep blue kitchen. Now we did the upper cabinets by the oven and the tall pantry cabinets in glass and painted them black and I wanted it to almost look like metal. We used the stone countertop and backsplash to go all the way up and we didn't do backs on the upper cabinets so you could see the stone throughout. When you're doing glass upper cabinets you want to make it a focal point of the area so again the stone back on it and then the mixture of everyday dishes and some brass accessories. You know I love open shelving in a kitchen not everyone loves open shelving in the kitchen so this is that high hybrid of having glass cabinets so you can see the dishes but it isn't completely open. This American standard faucet is unbelievable. You set the temperature and then you can establish how much water you need. Here's one cup and you just press that button and there it is. One cup of water pre-measured for you. I love having a beverage center. So we have all the Breville appliances there and this is a great area for a beverage center because it's out of the working area. Then we have a bay window for a banquette and table and chairs that really have a great view of the backyard. The family room is adjacent to the kitchen and we wanted to define it so we did this wide archway but we vaulted the ceiling. While the two rooms are open to each other you feel that the family room is a room on its own. We have a fireplace that's a focal point and then shelves on either side with art leaning. A sectional is really a great idea for this room because it's soft and offers a lot of seating. Running along the back of the house from the kitchen dining room area foyer past the living room to the staircase is a hallway that's two stories high. And to make the hallway more dramatic and not just a utility space, we have the French doors facing the garden and we took a little space from the second floor, removed the floor and have a two story space. To connect the hallway to the living room from a color standpoint, we use the same color but these rich velvet drapes and that happens to be the same velvet that's on the chairs in the living room. 
And then in front of the windows, we did lucite planters with orchids in them. And that stops people from trying to open those doors, which we want to really focus on the center doors to go out, but it really adds a softness to the space.